Jake, how in the world are you? I'm pretty good. I can't complain. I can complain. Just doesn't do anything. But doing pretty good. Yourself? Not bad. Um, work is a... Uh... It's still the same old, same old. Yeah. And I just found out today that things are going to get even more stressful for a few more months, so... It's always hard trying to uh, vent work in a public forum without actually venting right. work. We in never get into forum. details. Yeah. I understand, because I believe that we are employed by the same employer. Could be. Yeah. I mean, that's... I'll neither the, confirm nor the, deny. The rumor around the interwebs... Mmm, coffee. Mmm. Leftover coffee. <laughs> so, uh, what you playing? What am I playing? Yeah. Uh, well, we've been playing Resident Evil. That, I like that game. That game, like, uh, I didn't mean to, to cuss. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's just, just force a habit, just... I don't do really good with jump scares, you know? And so you react completely, yeah. you know, reflexively. I cannot avoid it, you know. But what I like about that game is the frustrating thing that I've had with, with, with video games lately is, you know, to scare people, they make things dark. And I understand dark is scary, but you can't see anything. And it's always frustrating. It's no, It gets to the point where it's no longer scary, and it's just dumb. Like you're walking around into walls, and you're trying to find where the exit is. Or your visibility is like only five feet in front yeah. of you. Oh, and it's, it's so creative. Yeah, I, I don't like that. But Resident Evil just like fixed that. Just by making everything super shiny and glossy. Like it's dark. And but contrasts. Yeah, like you actually can see it. And I like that. It doesn't take away from how like dreary and gloomy and creepy it is. And the fact that you still can't really see what the what the creatures look like. Right. And it still adds like mystery as far as where exactly are they. You know, because it it's still difficult to see. But... Um, you know where you're going, and that's, that's something that's just been hurting me for a long time with, with all these survival games. Yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. And it's kind of neat because they they did take the format from, like, Amnesia and these, like, more modern horror games where, you know, you're not really meant to fight. Yeah. You're meant to run and hide more than engage. Another game that I've been wasting uh, just too much time. Because there's certain games where it's like you're playing a game and then there are other games where you're wasting your time away because there's absolutely no rhyme or reason or meaning I to have them. no idea what you're talking about. Smash Brothers! But, uh, Steppy Pants. Steppy Pants? Exactly, yeah. Um, anybody that's got an Apple TV, uh, they, they, can, they can download it. It's by the same people that do Crossy Roads. Uh, if you're familiar with that, they I have, heard have of that. Steppy Pants, which is basically um, just a don't step on the crack kind of game. Uh, they got various different like uh, modes that you can do, but uh, at the core, it's don't step on the cracks. You basically, um, the touchpad on the Apple TV remote, um, uh, when you hold your thumb down, like it takes one leg, and for the amount of time it places it, that much farther. If you hold down too much, it does a splits, and you know you lose life basically. There's unlimited lives, but you just have to start over again. Um, I didn't know you had an Apple TV. Uh, well, it's technically not mine, but I play it. Is it at your house? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, it, th this game is is really frustrating because of how many times you just start over from the beginning. Like you have to build your way to the checkpoint, um, and. It, but it's I don't know man I just been wasting so much time on it with with my daughter we yeah we just get into the zone and it's just it's so dumb like <laughs> it is so dumb but I feel like there's a place for those games like yeah. when you just want something that's just like it basically boils down your concentration to like one or two mechanics yeah if you bag groceries all day for forty hours a week. You want like a massive, like just an emerging uh, or Complicated. immersing, yeah, an immersing yeah. universe where it's like I need to make decisions, I need to be creative, and I need to practice strategies. I want to learn through this environment. When you do what we do, 
you know, as technical analysts, and your entire day is to fix the universe, like it, you, you just want to go home and you want to be dumb for yeah. this one hour. Just let me be dumb. I just want to stop thinking so I can go to sleep. And that's where I've been with my video games lately. It's like I've been trying to get into uh, any other game, and just I don't want to think after yeah. work. I just want to be dumb for a second. So. Steppy pants. If you want to be dumb, and that's honestly, now that I think about it, that's probably why I've been so, um, just not looking forward to doing certain games. Like I haven't touched an RPG in the, like the longest time. Yeah, and it's probably because like you've got you know all these menus to go through, yeah. and you've got your party management, and you've got to strategize, and it's like I do that at work to an extent. Yeah. So that that makes a lot of sense. That's I got to worry about enough people's emotional baggage to try and resolve a relationship between an imaginary person on the screen and, you know, his love interest. Yeah. Or her. Yeah. True. Video games are progressive too. Or oh, would you like to know what I'm playing? Oh. I've been watching what you're playing. Well, yeah. I mean, is there anything outside of what you're posting? Uh, well, there was Kingdom Hearts 3D for a little while. Yeah, how was that? Um, it's good. It's not one of the better Kingdom Hearts games. It's like right in the middle of the road. Uh, that's all I've heard since Kingdom Hearts 2 came out. Kingdom Hearts 2, how's that? Oh, it was fantastic. Every game since, except for Birth by Sleep. <laughs> Birth what? by Sleep is actually. Story wise, not as good as Kingdom Hearts 2. Gameplay yeah. wise, blows it away. What's different about it? So, <clears throat> the combat system for Birth by Sleep is you have a meter that you fill up. Okay. And let's just say you do standard combos. Yeah. It'll fill up to a point where you can do like a really big hit. Mm-hmm. Then it empties and you start over. Let's say you mix it up. Let's say you use a fire spell at some point during that combo build or meter build. When you fill up the bar, all of a sudden your form changes and now you'll be like Fire Blaster or Firestorm form of your character. Okay. Then all your moves change and they'll have I gotcha. fire aspects to it. So based off of the combos that you use more frequently when you actually fill up the meter, it dictates a special form that you get into. Right. And then that starts another meter that if that fills up and you just do normal stuff with it, You'll do like a fire-based really strong attack. And there's three levels to this. So you could do like fill up one meter, change forms, fill up another meter, change forms. And it's all based on the moves that you do while filling up that meter. So that's not something I've heard of. That's interesting. I haven't been paying attention to Kingdom Hearts just because of how redundant all of the... Not even sequels, all of the... Spinoffs. Oh yeah, all the the beta updates, you know, like... Well... If you get a PS4 at mm-hmm. some point, they're going to put um, HD 1.5 and 2.5 on the same collection Okay, coming out at the end of March. I haven't played one in forever. Well, here's the deal. Yeah. It's the final mix versions of all of the games, which have like additional... It's like the director's cut of the yeah. games. So they've got... Um, with one... Did you ever play two? Mm-hmm. Do you remember how there was a lot of stuff you did with the triangle button? Yeah. And the triangle button like had no use in the first Kingdom Hearts game. They retrofitted that into the first Kingdom Hearts game. Okay. So like to, the the active to, events where you have to dodge or you have to Um not so much. Remember how you had to go down to the bottom of your menu to either do a special attack or like even open a chest? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's now triangle. Okay. I guess. And it's context sensitive. Okay. So it's it's nice. I actually haven't played it yet. I've got it on PS3, but and on the PS4 version, the games will all run at 60 frames per second. So it'll be like buttery smooth. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So if you get one, you should. And it's like a Kingdom Hearts one, two, Birth by Sleep, Chain of Memories, three five eight over two days, and all coded mixed, all mixed in together. Like six games. Except two of them are just the cutscenes. <laughs> like the DS games, yeah. 358 over two days and uh, recoded. Uh, they just basically just gave you the cutscenes from those games. 
miss so much, man. I know. It's like six it's games. Like but a, like for yeah. I think it's dropping for fifty bucks. I mean, that's a steal. Yeah. Um, but and probably doesn't really belong in the gameplay, but something did come out this uh week. What's that? What oh my goodness. That is huge. So this is the Arts and Artifacts Legend of Zelda. Is that book. like a chron- like chronology? That's the actually art? the first book. Hyrule okay. Historia yeah. uh, went through all the timeline, gave you the official timeline of all the games. Yeah. This is just... Here, I'll show you some things. So is that why like YouTube's been flooded with uh, timeline videos for Zelda lately? Well, lately they're probably... Yeah, this is this book is literally just art. That's cool. So, and it's like I think almost or just over it's around like 400 pages. Yeah, it's over 400 pages. <clears throat> um, I saw so it's Wind Waker, but it's got from all all of releases. them. All the artwork from all of them pretty That's much. Neat. Yeah. And uh certain games that they've gone back and revisited like Ocarina of Time they made for the remade it for the 3DS, mm-hmm. Majora's Mask. The high def versions of Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, they made new artwork for that, and they added it to it too. That's cool. Um, the last book that interested me like that, I never got a chance to read it. Um, and looking at, back at it, I think that like it's pretty expensive, and you have to buy it used. There was the the Xenogears had like a, a very thick book that actually explained the entire oh my story behind I, it. I didn't even know they made something like that. It, it was huge, and it went over like the entire detail, and it was uh, chronological. So it explained like, uh, the, the Zohar that they uh, harnessed to power their ship, and then just throughout generation after generation... Uh, they they upgraded their ship and they uh, they evolved the technology to the point where an artificial intelligence uh, took it over, and that was the main antagonist. That was the main enemy uh, that you had to beat at the end of Xenogears was that artificial intelligence, and it it's a crazy story. And playing the video game, uh, it's neat playing the video game because you're seeing it in clips and pieces and. Uh, yeah, broken fragments of like past. You don't get memories. the whole picture. Yeah, but when you read like through it, you know I've <clears throat> watched videos and on 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 the matter, you know, on the subject, but like I've never gotten a hand my hands on the actual book. Wow. Um, yeah, as you know, Saga is a game that I should probably go back to play now that I'm a mature adult because there's yeah. several things, several concepts. In that series, because I played it when I was a teenager, yeah. a lot of that stuff was just whoosh, yeah. like one of the concepts was there's something called a UMD, and it stands for like Universal Something, like not Universal Media Disc. Mm. Um, no, the DMU I think is what it was called, and it was basically a universal or or galaxy sized internet that was wireless. Yeah. And you could use it to transfer not just files, but physical objects. And that's... Isn't that what they... Like, the crystal thing that they use for the saving, like, your your, your state? I think so. into that, too. Maybe. That was what was interesting with Xenogears, is that you went to the save states, uh, and you're using them throughout the game, and then halfway through the game you realize that like the shadow government that you're only partially aware of that's monitoring everything, Mm -hmm. they're monitoring your save states and they're reading over this stuff. So by saving your game, I mean, you can't not save the game. Right. You you have to. But just by going there and saving... Unless you're emulating it. That's true. (laughs) That's true. But still. Well, I like games that do that. Um, I've never played any of the Metagear Solid games, but I was told that uh, Snake Eater, number three... Yeah. Um, there's a part where you're going down a river um, and apparently anyone you've ever killed in that game is there in the river with you yeah. and depending on how you killed them like that's how they're stuck like 
I think this one guy told me, he's like, yeah, I had a playthrough where I slashed everyone's throats. So when I got to that part, like every single person there was like, like, like walking around holding their, their neck. And that's cool. Yeah. Um, game, like similar concept, uh, Resident Evil Nemesis, where it would save how you defeated him each time mm. so that as that you next him, time wouldn't work exactly you know and then by so the you end, had to be careful about how you beat him because if yeah. you went all overpowered use the handgun first <laughs> you beat him with the handgun first <laughs> can you kill him with a knife <laughs> don't don't wait till the very last encounter to use a oh, handgun yeah. <laughs> pew, pew. Pew, pew. <laughs> 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 what topic are we on what time is it? Uh, it's feeling like it's like 2 yeah. in the morning, but it's only 